Meal Console 3D Part 4 We're going to now set up rough mixes on our aux buses for our headphone system. I've got my tracking inputs all labeled and set up. And I can always use the small faders right in this area. But it's a lot more convenient to flip the faders and use the large faders. So all I have to do is go over to the legend and click on any one of the aux buses. And when I do so, you can see that the faders turn yellow and they represent aux sends. I also like to create link groups, which will show up in the lower left hand corner that I can turn off or on for my input sources. So we create a link group. And then we name it. And in this case, I'm going to name it tracking. So anytime I need to hard mute all my inputs, as long as that link group tracking is selected, all I have to do is go up and hit one button. And in fact, any operation that I do to one channel, I can do to all the channels. I also like to create a link group for my headphone sources, those that are feeding my headphone amplifier. I never know when I'm going to need to adjust all the volume levels on the aux buses, mute the aux buses, or even hard mute those channels. So this is done the same way as we created the input link group. And it's an easy thing to toggle the link groups off and on down in the lower left hand corner. So if you don't need them, you can shut them off. And as you can see, when you toggle them off, they go into a yellow bypass state, similar in look to the plugins that are bypassed. Let's save. Okay, now we're gonna create a roughed in mix that's in stereo that kind of represents what I'd be listening to in the control room. So I'm roughing in my drums. And if I'm in the same room with the musicians, then I'd be doing this through a headphone amp. Once the main mix is roughed in, and I click on each one of my auxes, and I set a few faders to unity gain, typically the faders that the musicians are gonna use the more me feature of the headphone system, which is really just a mono feed to augment their stereo mix. That way they can zero in on their tone. And of course drummers, because they're playing such a loud instrument, typically like to bring a little bit more of themselves and some bass and some click into their headphone set as well. Now you can see some live mics as I take the inputs in and out of hard mute. And now you can see the sends going to the auxes. Just a couple of mouse clicks or a controller. I can turn off and on the monitor system and the headphones. This can become critical when you're in the same room with the band. Last thing you want to do is blow out a monitor speaker. And 
Now that I've got my aux mixes roughed in, they're always going to take a little bit of tweaking. And I've checked all my hard mutes and my monitor controller. I'm going to save. And coming up in part five, I'll introduce you to a Pro Tools template that I use that correlates to the input map that we've created here.